You're going to believe that there must be a tree God up there. A big, huge, master tree God. I ever see this big master tree. There are two times of this building. And so tall, you cannot palm the trunk of the tree. So other trees may look and say, these trees are the master trees. They are the master God. The bees worship the queen and say, she is the queen God. So we protect her. And wherever the queen go, the bees have to follow in billions, in thousands. Because the, the God is here. So every Rasta man in Jamaica, they kill cow, they, they kill goats. They kill all different types of stuff. They say we're going to worship our master. He's coming. And to be so disappointed when he arrives, he's asking, who are you? My God, my deliverer. Who come to deliver me. Oxen. The man that I'm worshipping for years. Would kill people for. Put myself in trouble. Racing up people for. Come to ask me who are you. These Rastafarian must have. Some terrible moment. That, that day. The man didn't come with no rust. Or no locks. He come with just a little beard. And maybe, I don't know if his ear is bland or whatever they call it. But he's saying, I am not who you think I am. Don't worship me. Because I am not who you think I am. And I cannot say who I am when I'm not who I am. Are you there? Not because I can do signs and wonders. That don't mean I am your, your master. They said, I don't matter what you think or what you say you are. We say you are God. Are you there? It's amazing how people push you higher than where you are. It can be good and it also can be bad. But we accept the greatness because we want to be great. Are you there? But the truth of the fact, you have to treat people like people and treat God like God. Until you realize who is truly God. And discover who is your master, your savior, your deliverer. You always worship in a man or a woman known as God. So Jesus said, who do you think I am? Who do they say I am? And when they are confused and saying bad things, Jesus said, who you say I am? Since you can't tell me nothing, who you say I am? I want to hear it from you. It's just a couple of nights ago, after going through the Bible and going through the Bible, I just discovered that one of the thief on the cross, they called Barnabas. Barnabas was on the cross. Barabbas. Is he was on the cross? Because I don't know. I was just asking you because you, you, some of you maybe were there. I was there. Barabbas was Jesus. When I look up the name Barabbas, it come up as a son of God called Jesus. So it's all stories come up in stories. I cannot say it's true. I cannot say it's a lie. All I can say this is what I see. Bar Barabbas, known as a son of God called Jesus. That's all I can say. I'm not going to run on anyone to say, oh, he is Jesus, he is false. I'm not going to tell them that is false or is not. I am not the one who write it. I wasn't there. 
All I can say, this is what I discover. Are you there? But some of you don't want to discover nothing. All you want to do is read something. The cat killed the cow. And you just believe and you run with it. You don't want to go through the nitty gritty. Pick out what is right from what is wrong. You just want to run what mom. Grandma said if you put your foot in mess. You get money. And because you see the mess long day. You go wallow in the mess. And three day pass. You don't get no money. You start cuss. Why I didn't get no money. And grandma said if I put my foot in mess. I get money. It was a story. But how much story do we believe? They also discovered that in the beginning God created Adam with a female together. So they were cling together without separated. There was one flesh together. Are you with me? Then in other verses, God take out and separate one from the other. And pull out one ribs from the other to separate them. So they could come, have companion with each other. So there's all different stories coming up as you dig. I cannot say it's true. I cannot say it's untrue because I wasn't there. I can only say I discover. Just like how Paul says. I hear him here. And am I right? Are you there? But the hypocrite, Paul, I want to talk about him. Who was Saul? Paul. Saul was the one that they sent undercover to destroy all the Christian society. Destroy, burn down all the churches, kill the priests and the pastors. Destroy all the Christian society. When he was Saul, he was writing the Bible for you to obey the man called Jesus. When they discovered and caught him and realized who he is, his name was Paul. So they realized that he wasn't Saul, his name was truly Paul. So they switched back his name to Paul when the Bible had already write already. So they catch the thief, when he done the, the work, they said, but he wasn't Saul, he was Paul. But it is, it is written already. But he was talking what he heard. He said, this is what I hear from the scriptures, what I read, so I'm writing. Even elsewhere in the Bible, Paul's Paul states that I am not pressuring you to believe what I'm writing. Because all I'm writing is trickery. That's what he says. He said all I'm writing is trickery. So I'm not pressuring you to, to believe what I'm writing. But I am who I am. I cannot come and look out and who believe and who don't believe. All I can say, that I discover and that I tell you, is you to believe, is hear me here. Are you there? But some biblical pastor will come and they will take God off the cross that he was on the cross because they were there. And they find scriptures to, to match up that, oh, oh, Paul, uh, Saul changed to Paul and, and he changed his life and after he changed his life, he write when I catch him, catch a little brute when he's done this story. So when they catch him, he start to add some more writing to what he placed already. If God wasn't crucified, then our preaching is in vain. He start to add and if our preaching is in vain, our faith is also in vain. It's amazing when people catch you in the ark, you can wiggle yourself out. 
But I am who I am. Give me 1 Corinthians 15. Let's see what he, what he said to back up his statement. 